So if you guys are just getting into video editing, I know it can be frustrating and a little tedious at first, but trust me, I'm here to make sure that that process goes by a lot smoother than it should be. I'm going to be showing you how you can learn the entirety of DaVinci Resolve for beginners for 100% free. So if that interests you, sit back, relax, and let's get right into it. All right, guys. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have DaVinci Resolve installed. If you don't, just go on over to the link that I'll have in the description. Download DaVinci Resolve 100% free. You just press download right here. Uh, don't worry about the studio version. You don't need to buy it you can literally do so much with the free version but if you want to you can buy the studio version it's some cool upgrades for a low price of 300 dollars but you just need to download it and then from there all you have to do is boot it up and i'll see you guys once i actually have davinci resolve loaded up all right so once you have davinci installed all you got to do is just make a new project so for me i'm gonna do tutorial beginner sample something like that you can name your project absolutely whatever you're making your first video on then from there what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make sure that i have my settings initialized and ready for us to make our video so to do that i'm going to go to file project settings and then go here and change my frame rate to 60 for my timeline and then make sure our resolution is all good if you want to do 4k you can scroll down here and do that but i'm going to leave it at 1920 by 1080 because that's what i make my youtube videos at you just want to save it and then you're going to go over here to these three little lines right here to the edit tab because this is where we're going to be absolutely cooking up everything inside of from there what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my sample footage so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be taking this footage from my brand new video that i haven't even posted yet so we're we're actually just going to drag that in just like this. And just like that, we have our footage in the timeline here. So the most important keybind that you need to learn when it comes to DaVinci Resolve is cutting your footage. So to do this, all you really have to do is press B on your keyboard and this will bring up this blade tool here. You can just click on it yourself if you really wanted to. And then from there, I'm just gonna cut down the excess on the left right here. And I'm just gonna click on it and press delete. And that's that's literally all it is when you need to cut stuff out. And obviously you don't want any dead footage inside of your videos so to get rid of this we're going to be using the same blade tool to get rid of all that so we have a bunch of failed takes right here that we want to get rid of so all we have to do is come right over here to the good take that we're going to be using for the video cut it so all of this dead space we want to delete so what we can do is we can either click on it and delete it or to save time we can click on it press shift at the same time on our keyboard and press delete and that'll bring our footage directly over to the side so we can see that it's looking great we have everything lined up and then all i'm going to do is i'm going to do the exact same thing with this and get rid of the excess footage on the side so right here we have all of our footage lined up perfectly but the only thing is if you've noticed there's a bit of runoff at the end of the footage here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring this up to video two i'm going to drag it over to the left so we can just drag it over and have a little bit of an overlap to actually transition between the two clips and then i'm going to do the same thing with this one just bring it under a bit that should be good that's literally our intro all cut up and ready to go if you really want to you can cut it down but it's not really necessary i'll get into that in an advanced tutorial if you actually if you guys actually want that in the future so we actually have the foundation down and that's just cutting we've imported our media and from there you can pretty much make a youtube video just like this but if you want to spice it up and you want to actually make the best content possible i'm going to be showing you how you could actually add this little trick to your content this that will actually engage viewers so at the beginning here we can see up here in the top left if we go to video we can see davinci offers all these different things such as zoom positioning which is like up down left right we can rotate it if we want to but the main feature i'm going to be showing you guys is the zoom and you've probably seen this in so many youtube videos you see it zooming in the intro or something like that i'm going to be showing you how you could easily do that so i'm going to click on the clip i'm going to press this little circle to the right of the zoom part right here and then we're going to go to the very end and you can copy a value such as maybe 1.2 and we can see that we have this zoom going where it's progressive and it goes as the clip goes along and then obviously it resets here so we're going to do that for this same clip right here change this to 1.2 and you can honestly do this for all of your segments just to add that little extra bit of spice to your content they will add that little extra little engaging piece of media for your viewers to watch so for the many of you watching this video, so we can see that that zoom has really added a lot already and we've already done so much in terms of editing so next up i'm going to be showing you how you could actually use the titles and different effects inside of your effects library adding subtitles is so e easy inside of davinci resolve all you got to do is literally just come over here to the titles tab drag in a subtitle edit it to say whatever so today i'm going to or something like that and then you just need to change your font so some good fonts that i would highly recommend um something like mont or you can use something like comica axis which is a great font that i love using something like this so we're actually going to stick with comica axis and all we got to do is go to our settings right here and we can just adjust the positioning just like we were given the option to with our video so we can do that easily and when it comes to actually adding effects to our subtitles davinci 
is great in terms of this. So we can add a built-in stroke, which is an outline around our text, or we can add drop shadow. So the best drop shadow settings are three and negative five. These are what I use for my own subtitles. And we can see that it adds a slight little subtitle uh, drop shadow around the edges here. And that's pretty much your subtitles added. And all you really have to do is literally just like find each word or sentence that you want to do. And as you go along, show you guys, even though that's not what I'm saying in the video itself. Um, and then we come over here, let's say how to edit or something like that. So we just have like these basic little subtitles right here, just showing what I'm saying and just what a subtitle is essentially. It's pretty much highlighting what you're actually saying in the video. I'm not going to go through and subtitle this clip exactly, but obviously you would edit it to say whatever your footage is saying in the video itself. And then you would adjust it to whatever duration the sentence is in your footage. So uh, I know I'm going a bit overkill right now, not quite necessary, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how you can do that. Now, in terms of effects, you don't really need to add much. Uh, DaVinci offers some cool effects that you could actually add to your footage. So for example, if you didn't have the drop shadow on, uh, what you can do is you can just add it directly to the clip itself, which I don't know why you would do that, but you can just do that as a secondary option. That's pretty much how you do that itself. Now, if you're dealing with something like transitions and you want to know how to transition between each clip, um, what you can do is let's say at the very end right here, we have our intro and then we have the body of the video, which is a different clip. And this looks pretty static. We don't want that, you know, plain cut transition. So what we can do is we can utilize DaVinci Resolve's built-in transitions and drag in something like a cross dissolve like this, where it will drag in a cross dissolve. Or if we want to do something like a non-additive dissolve, that's also cool. I really like these. Um, it just does that. There are so many different transitions. I highly recommend that you play around with them, find what one you actually prefer. And that is pretty much how you do that. So I've showed you how to do cutting, zooms, transitions, subtitles, pretty much the basics of the software itself. Now I'm gonna be showing you how you could add music to your video. So to do this, you just locate wherever you have music downloaded to. And let's say you wanna add some background music. Literally all you have to do is drag it into your timeline, just like you've done with every other thing. Or what you can do is you literally can just drag it into the media pool and drag it from there. I just like directly adding it. And obviously it is a bit too loud. So to do this, we can just literally drag down to adjust and we can see the volume is on the actual uh, audio layer right here. It says negative 26.56. Anywhere from negative 25 to 30 should be good. Um, you can also manually play around with the audio levels up here. So we're going to just do negative 30. And that's pretty much what I stick around with for my videos itself. So once you've actually been satisfied, you've reached the final product that you want to render out and upload to YouTube, you go to your deliver tab, you fill in the information such as first YouTube video, something like that. I'm not the best at spelling. You find a file location, you press, you know, 160,000. I'm going to make a video separately on render settings for you guys if you want to learn how to do that. But that's pretty much it. You just add it to your render queue, render it out, and you can upload it to YouTube. But I hope I did touch up on the basics for DaVinci Resolve, get you off the ground in terms of editing your first YouTube video, editing your first video for a school project or something like that. But if you guys did learn something, like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and I'll see you guys later.